I collected stories because I continued to feel weighed down by the thought that practically nothing had been done in Negro folklore. When the greatest cultural wealth in the continent was disappearing without the world realizing it had ever been. Who knows what fabulous cities of artistic concepts lie within the mind and language of some humble Negro boy or girl who never heard of Ibsen? Who would pass on the stories about Br'er Rabbit? Or the possum. Or the squinch owl. Stories about God. Folklore is the arts of people before they find out there is such a thing as art. Who would pass on the stories about the devil? And creation. Who would tell about the secret power of those who live on the other side of the creek? Who would tell of the power of High John the Conqueror? John was not a natural man at first. In the beginning, he was a whisper, a will to hope. And then the whisper put on flesh. His footsteps sounded across the world in a low, musical rhythm, as if the world he walked on was a singing drum. He had lived and worked on the plantations, and all the slave folks knew him in the flesh. The sign of this man was a laugh. <laughs> it was an inside thing to live by. It was sure to be heard when and where the work was hardest and the lot most cruel. It helped the slaves to endure. They knew that something better was coming. So they laughed in the face of things and sang, I am so glad uh, that trouble don't last always. Oh, Master didn't know it, of course, but High John the Conqueror was dying. Tread the sweat, flavor, clods of the plantation like a natural man, crushing out his drum tune. Giving out secret laughter. Mm. He came walking on the wind. <gasps> and he moved fast. Maybe he was in Texas when the lash fell on a slave in Alabama. But before the blood was dry on the back, he was there in Alabama. <laughs> <laughs> that old John was a case. <laughs> Distance and the impossible had no power behind John the Conqueror. He was from Africa. He came walking on the waves of sound, and then he took on flesh after he got there. The sea captains of the ships knew that they brought slaves in the ships. They knew about the black bodies huddled down there in the middle passage, being hauled across the waters. They did not know that John the Conqueror was walking the very winds that filled the sails of the ship. And all the time, there was High John the Conqueror playing his tricks of making a way out of no way. Way over there, where the sun rises a whole day ahead of time, they say that heaven arms with love, 
and laughter those it does not wish to see destroyed. Hi.